Hey there, uh, in this video I'm going to tell you what is disk check, error checking or check disk, what these terms are and uh, how they are going to affect your computer. First of all, check out check disk is basically is used to uh, check any sort of errors which might be present on your disk. Fine. What type of errors could be corrected or checked with error checking is one is your file system errors. File system is basically like uh, your is the one who organizes and manages all the data which is present on your computer. For example, we have NTFS and uh, FAT32. All these are file systems. Uh, in there are many other examples as well and uh, depending upon your operating system you can have different file system so if there is any error with the file system that could be recovered with the disk check second thing is uh, bad sector errors now your disk is divided into sectors and on sectors data is written now we have two types of sectors uh, errors one is soft and one is hard hard is basically uh, let's say during the manufacturing or maybe with the passage of time and with the wear and tear your disk is uh, physically damaged fine and that error could not be recovered using disk check it's not going to uh, remove any physical errors from the disk but it is going to remove the soft disk uh, bad sector errors now what is soft bad sector errors these are just uh, logical errors uh, uh, on the disk now what is logical errors these could be recovered logical means let's say you were uh, uh, the file system was writing or maybe uh, some write operation was performing on the sector and suddenly uh, there was power failure fine and during just because it the operation was in the middle of the writing uh, it was wrong it wasn't completed the next time disk is going to read for thus something was written there but that is not complete so it is not usable for uh, usable at all or second thing could be uh, like there could be some viruses or malware function that has made any changes on the sectors and uh, you want to remove those changes and want to make your sectors usable again fine and uh, yeah, example of your file system error could be like uh, um, there were some issues okay i'm going to write the example here um, for example there might be issue with the timestamps that are written on the in the file system or there might be some wrong or cor corrupted L, uh, values in the master file table that is managing your data okay so if these type of errors are occurring on your computer then how you can recover this and uh, if we have two methods i'm going to show you two methods one is graphical mode in that you are going to just use your icons here so all have to you have to do is just go to uh, my computer and for that um, just press window e in my computer you will see the list of drives just right click on the drive that you want to check go to the properties click on the tools and then you will see the first option is error checking this option will check the drives for errors and click on check now and see you get two options here automatically fix file system errors and scan for and recovery of bad sector exactly what I explained just earlier so you can uh, perform you can check the options which you want to perform first one is going to take uh, second one is of course going to take very much time and it has to work with the sectors it has to read everything okay there was one thing uh, that I forgot to mention see we said that uh, it's going to it's not going to recover from the bad sectors uh, hard bad sectors because they are physically damaged but it can do one thing uh, while you perform error check it will mark them mark hard bad sectors so the next time your disk is going to write uh, there will be writing on the disk your computer will not write on the bad sectors and it will not waste time on the sectors which are already damaged so uh, sorry bad hard so it will mark those physically damaged sectors and it will be uh, save the time of the computer from writing on the bad sectors all right okay so coming back in the properties just choose the options and click on start and you will be done 
uh, it might take time fine so that's taking taking time this many of clusters processed and we are almost 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 done your device or disk was successfully scanned no problem was found okay close it now one thing uh, you will not be able to perform a uh, disk check if your disk is in use for example if i perform this thing on c drive the same thing i will see a message here if you click on start button Okay, Windows cannot ch uh, check the disk while it is in use. Do you want to check for the hard disk errors the next time you start your computer? So, because C drive right now, as you can see, my C drive has my operating system Windows. So, I uh, and that is in use. And uh, if you want to perform this check next time you are going to start your computer, it will be performed automatically. Okay, so you can schedule the uh, disk check for the next time. Okay, now this was the first method, graphical method. Second is your command line method. For that, just go to uh, uh, in the start panel type for look for command prompt and you will not open this just right click here and run it as the administrator otherwise you won't have the privileges to perform this deep, uh, check operation and uh, so I have to run it as the administrator so click on this run as administrator yes Okay, after this, the command is chk dsk check disk. That is the command. In after that space, then you will use a slash. After slash, you can use different uh, parameters with it. For example, app is to fix the file system errors. It says that check disk cannot run because the volume isn't used by another process because see I'm uh, if you, I'm just writing C, check disk slash f that means going to check the C drive here and in C drive you have your operating system uh, it's asking whether you want to perform this next time I'm going to press yes okay and the volume will be checked the next time your uh, system starts now if you want to perform the check disk for a particular system all you have to do is let's say for E drive then write E colon fine and app is for uh, checking and press enter the type of file system is an tfs and now this check is being performed and all is done and let's say uh, there are multiple other ways uh, things that you can perform with check this and let's say you don't check the disk okay let's say you can't remember what all th those options are so slash after slash just put a question mark and it will give you all the options that could be replaced by the question mark okay you can perform slash f fix the errors on the disk slash b slash r slash x c i b sorry <coughs> sorry okay so you can uh, just read the stuff app is fixes the error on the disk there was uh, r is locates the bad sectors and recovers the readable information just what i explained i can even perform more than one option at the same time uh, for example check disk i want to perform error checking and as well as reading uh, recovery of bad sectors fine all done so this was your check disk or error recovery or disk check and the command is check dsk slash f or slash r for example let me do say e column that means perform check disk on e drive fine okay that's it uh, Thanks for watching and goodbye. Have a nice day. Bye.